Welcome to Indica. Very interesting first look that I'm doing today. Very intriguing. This game kept popping up for me and I would look at it and go, that's really interesting. And then I would go away, something else would pop up and I'd come back. And then finally I saw a video on their YouTube channel the other day that was the director of the dev team, which is Odd Meter. It's published by 11-Bit that does Frostpunk too. And he was talking about kind of some of his philosophy behind the game. I wouldn't normally cover it on my gaming channel, but I just kept being drawn back to this. And one of the things that they're trying to do is to give a different spin on gaming. One of the things that it says here is on Steam is its members put aesthetics at the forefront and aren't afraid to tread the fine line of ethical norms. Their game is a great testament to that as Indica constitutes an open challenge to the industry's established approach to creating video games. It looks fascinating. It's very kind of art house feel to it. And one of the things that got me from the director's message, which is really what me, made me decide to go ahead and do a look at this game, is that he said that he believes we can't really learn how to live in peace with each other until you live in peace with yourself. And I was like, that is so true. So these things all just kind of came together and I was like, okay, I have to look at this game. It's so intriguing. The art house style, just the whole thing, it, it, I just kept getting pulled back to it. You know, 11-bit supporting the children in Ukraine and everything. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I have to do it. I have to look at this game. So I'm going to stop rambling on so much. Let's get into it and see. This is going to be fascinating. They talk about how there's going to be a lot of like ethical questions that come up and philosophy and like it's done in a way with no judgment, but you have to like decide decisions to make. Am I supposed to be moving? I can't. This reminds me of Alice falling through the looking glass. This is not the game, by the way. This is just like uh, something to do during the loading screen, I'm pretty sure. It does have little mini puzzles in it, though that have to do with helping Indica, who's the main character. Oh. Forgive me. I forgot myself for a moment. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I might need to turn the graphics down. Mag. Go! There's a basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. Duty. Take a basket with vegetables from the warehouse and bring it to Sister Smaragda in ref Refectory. Plus 30 points. Accept. Here we go. So we're going to have... What does it mean to be truly righteous? Ooh. To never succumb to temptation or to take a vow of chastity despite constant temptation? Our heroine did not know the answer to this question and preferred never to dwell on it. If it were up to her, she would have chosen the quiet life of a nun. However... Destiny had something different in store for her. That's an interesting narrator voice. I mean, this is an art house game and I definitely get that feel in the graphics. It's almost a little bit difficult to like remember and focus on just be doing because I'm like so busy looking around everywhere. You can change the point of view in the settings. I'm I sorry. may scoot it back Maybe a little. I can help. User manual for a steam hydraulic machine. 
In case of a sudden engine cutoff, make sure to open shutter 4 and purge the steam. The operating pressure in the main boiler should be maintained at... I hope I don't have to remember all that stuff. I know there are going to be many puzzles in the game. Oh wait! Maybe this is one of them right here. Maybe I should look at those numbers a little bit closer. Am I supposed to help her with this? Open shutter 4 and purge the steam. I guess today is a regular day, so that would be 5.5 to 6.5. Oh, the button to do something went away. Is it because she's standing right there? Look, it works. No, you're not stupid at all. <laughs> Did you get thrown out of the evening service again? Rude. <laughs> I just helped. Not very uh, popular in the continent, or at least not with that lady. I go in this lady. No, I think it has to have the little dots to uh, interact. I'm pretty sure it said that shift is to run, but I don't seem to be able to speed up here. It's an old piano. The sound effects are interesting. The creek. Oh, look, it's showing my footprints in the snow. That's cool. I wonder if that's going to come in handy at some point in a puzzle or something. Whoa. For the sake of the prayers of all the. Stesha? Do you have something prepared for Smaragda? It's cold today, isn't it? Mm. Thank you. Yeah, they really are. Uh, the sisters the loved cold. Indica. Christian love is known to be patient, merciful, and faithful. However, in a lowly human sense, they didn't love her that much. To be completely honest, they didn't love her at all. <laughs> Many of them felt nothing but disgust for her. Indica, however, was not to blame. Were it not for the voice that was inculcating ideas in her, unforgivable for a Christian, she would have been a virtuous and rather mediocre nun. Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day. So I wonder what it is, what it is about Indica that they don't like us. So I'm guessing I need to get to that other dot, but I don't really know how, so I'm just trying to find a way through. I'm gonna double check if I can walk faster, or maybe they're like making us walk at this slow pace right now. So, they're keeping at us at this pace right now of not being able to rush through being in the convent where people are treating us unkindly. Level up. It's an interesting choice they've made to integrate like this retro style gaming in this like highly polished looking graphics if dark <clears throat> regret for every time you get points you gain a 1.21 multiplier oh wait that's not what I was on here so level 8 is my current level shame 6 every time you get points you gain an extra 6 repentance 3 every time you get points you gain a chance to get extra 6 
grief for every time you get points you gain a chance to get a 1.46 multiplier guilt 5 gain 10 points regret 4 humility 4 this is interesting that they're looking at characteristics of shame repentance grief humility regret guilt and these are the things that you go through to level up interesting so what do I do here do I choose a route of how I want to go next grief or humility let's click on humility so that's a choice that I made of how the story is going to change and how what's going to happen going forward like a choose your own adventure Bring some water. Duty. Get a full barrel of water. Accept. I wonder if not accepting is an option. So we're going to be doing some things here in the convent. And then something is going to happen. Or we're going to have to make a choice. And it's going to lead us out of the convent. Are we doing it backwards? Down, up, down, up. To get it up. Because it was heavy, it needed more help. So obviously some of the choices are going to be small choices. But some of the choices are going to be big choices. Ethical choices. It's almost jarring in a way. The way they have this like very serious feeling character and situation. And then the like ding of like the retro video games. I'm sure they do that on purpose. It does feel a little bit of dark, and there is uh, darkness in this story, but they say there is humor as well. Some of it may be dark humor. I'm sure it will be. Useless labor is the basis of spiritual development. Obedience is above fasting or prayers. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that took it from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 50 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say, on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath the feet. Interesting. So I was just thinking before the narrator started talking that I bet they're having us do this to give us the like real sense of like her situation and being in the convent and having to do this kind of work and what her life is like what lessons she's supposed to be learning from it the narrator points out maybe this will go into influencing the decisions to come I feel like the narrator is trying to influence us calling it monotonous work and it doesn't make sense. Do we trust this narrator? Okay, I think this is the last bucket of water. She's gotta be freezing. I mean, those are long sleeves, but I would be so cold in the snow like that. Did you need a coat? Indeed, and even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Why? Mother, the sign of the cross saves from the plague. But this, God forgive me. Oh. Glory to... Smaragda, don't tempt me. I'm sending Evdokia to you. Don't let this one into the refectory. Was I supposed to learn a lesson from that? I shall give thee no kiss akin to Judas, but as an outlaw shall I confess thee. 
Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May my communion of thy immaculate mysteries, O Lord, not be judged or condemned, but heal the body and soul. Is she crazy? Servant of God, Indica shall now take communion with the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. What? <sighs> it's something. Many years you bore with them and warned them by your spirit, yet they would not give ear. Therefore you gave them into the hand of the peoples of the lands. Nehemiah 9.30 What's in it? It is forbidden to leave the convent without a blessing. Despite her requests, Indica had not been blessed to leave for a full year. When she was tasked with delivering the letter, it took her completely by surprise. Even though she did not know the contents of that letter, she could not shake the feeling that it would play an extremely important, perhaps critical, role in her life. This is so intriguing. So I know this letter is going to end up being like a really big deal. And it like has to do with her leaving the convent and going through this adventure and self-discovery and making What's peace with her past. What's in it? What's in it? And so the adventure begins. I gotta say, I keep getting drawn into this game. And it's about to get more exciting, too, as we get out into the real world and deeper into the mystery. Now, let me know if you want me to post more of this playthrough. I am going to be continuing to play it a little bit. And I'm also going to be doing a review on it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you want to see more. Until next time, happy gaming.